It's that time of year again, that the national championships are around the corner and much like last year I'm throwing together a massive, comprehensive guide of all the championships being held. There's a total of about 15, so get yourself ready, this is going to be quite the video. The big one is of course Belgium, the Belgian national championships will be held across both the 14th and 15th of January in Lokeren, typically home to the Rapencross. Saturday sees the junior men and women race before the elite women take to the battlefield. Sunday sees the under 23 and then elite men. There is no under 23 women's race. Lokeren is generally an early season warm up race. The course has changed slightly for the nationals but features a lot of climbing and some technical sections in the forest. The women's race bodes for some exciting racing but we've said that before and had it not come true. Sonna Kant is of course the favourite, the 13 time national champion hopes to extend her record breaking run. Lara Verdonschot has put up some great performances as of late though. Her big advantage though does come in the sand and there's not a whole lot of that on this course. Marion Nobert Ribarol is also always there or thereabouts but her recent crash in Gullegem could still be affecting her. This year there is no Lotte Kopecky as far as I'm aware. On the men's side we're in for a great race as there is no Wout van Aert. Laurent Zweig is arguably the best Belgian this year apart from Van Aert, but he finds a course that doesn't really suit him that well. Eli Isabit on the other hand finds somewhere he should do pretty well, but my favourite is probably Michael van Turenhout. Van Turenhout has never been Belgian champion before, but this season he's put it together every time it's been asked of him. His ability in really hard and technical conditions could be the deciding factor in this race. If the weather turns out poor, he is definitely the one to watch. Outside of those three there is a huge list of people who could conceivably throw up a shock, the likes of Adams, Suter, Van der Putte, etc. Just over the border on the 15th of January the Dutch National Championships are finally actually heading to Zaltbommel after numerous Covid related failures. The Dutch will race entirely on the Sunday with the junior races for men and women, an under 23 women's race and then the two elite categories. The course in Zaltbommel is fairly shrouded in mystery, but it will likely include a whole host of sand sections as well as a lot of short sharp climbs up the dike along the side of the river where the course is held. For the women's race I'm leaning towards backing Puk Pietersa. Pietersa has announced she's officially moving up to the elite category also for the world championships. The sand and seemingly technical nature of this course should favour her. On the other hand however, this course reminds me somewhat of Antwerp from what little information we do have and in Antwerp it was Femme van Empel who came out victorious. It'll be incredibly close between the two of them. Sonhoven's winner Shirin van Anrooy isn't starting. Other riders who are and could do well include the likes of van der Heijden, Betsema, Worst, Bakker, Brandt, Alvarado, van Alphen and defending champion Marianne Vos. The men elite race on the other hand is a little bare bones competition wise. Mathieu van der Poel isn't racing and so it feels almost inevitable that Lars van der Haar will extend his time as the national champion. He will have some rivals though, namely Mace Hendricks, Corné van Kessel and potentially his teammate Joris Nieuwenhuis could throw up a fight. The French nationals are taking place this year in Bagnol de Lorne, last year host to two rounds of the Coupe de France. French races are entirely on the 15th with the exception weirdly of the men's under 23 race. Bagnol de Lorne is a fairly standard French cross course. Lots of gentle but tough rises and falls and lots of flowing corners. The course does apparently include a Rupfen style carousel though, so that's something fun. For the women's race I struggle to look past Lynn Burquet defending her title. This isn't really a course Burquet should do well on, but it's somewhat similar to Liver last year, weather dependent of course, and she was victorious there. The 19 year old is the most outrageously talented of anyone who isn't Dutch and it's just a question of how she does really, power wise, compared to everybody else, mostly the older competitors. Her main rivals will be presumably Helene and Perrine Clozel as well as Akea Samsix Amandine Fouquenet. Last year's men's champion was Joshua Dubot, he's probably the favourite again but I also can't go without mentioning three time French champion Clément Venturini. Valentin Guillot put up a decent fight in the Coupe de France consistently against Dubot finishing 11 points behind him. Guillot hasn't raced since the World Cup in Havre on Boxing Day though, which makes this race incredibly difficult to call. The Swiss meanwhile returned to some proper cross heritage with the Nationals being held in Mettmannstetten. Once again we're racing entirely on the 15th. 
Mettmannstetten is a classic Swiss climbing course. It looks very tough, but outside of that it doesn't have many massive defining features. The sheer difficulty of the course will end up weighing through. The elite women race only counts 7 official starters so far, unless something is slightly wrong. Maybe it will be expanded upon in the coming days, I hope so, because 7 is quite a low number. Included already though is defending champion and top level mountain biker Alessandra Keller. Also listed are the likes of Rebecca Esterman and Tina Bahumi. The men's race can count on a bigger start list and a bigger name than that of Kevin Kuhn. Kuhn is undoubtedly the favourite here, however the likes of Gilles Moutier, Timon Rueg and Loris Rouillet could put up a decent fight. Italy's national championships will be held at the Castel Fusano near the capital Rome. Taking place entirely on the 15th too, the course looks to be almost entirely flat, but I can't get a good look and there's no footage of the course available. There is also no start list available, so this will largely be a guessing game. Silvia Persico would be the shoe-in if she starts, but I have no idea if she will. Behind her, Sara Casasola has put up a good season. She could well be up for it. Eva Lechner can never be counted out. Also keep an eye on Rebecca Garibaldi and the good form of Francesca Baroni. On the men's side, I struggle to pick out a favourite. Last year's champion Jacob Dorigoni should do well. So should Giole Bertonini and youngster Federico Seolin and Filippo Fontana. Over in the UK, the Nationals will be held at Westmoreland in Cumbria, a staple of the National Trophy Series. Once again, an all Sunday affair. Westmoreland is a quintessential British cross. It lacks any real special features, but the constant turns and undulating structure will make this difficult. With weather like last year, it could become a hellish experience. There's no start list yet, so the big question on the women's side is if Zoe Backstead starts. Should she do so, she finds a course that suits her, and she'll likely soar off into the distance. Without, I'd hope Anna Kay could finally grab herself the national title, but her recent injury in Baal makes her unlikely to start either. It means we're looking at likely Zan Kreese, or if she starts Annie last. Maybe Evie Richards if she decides to race. Tom Pidcock has already announced he won't be taking part in the national championships, so the world champion will not be here. That leaves Cameron Mason as the favourite to win the race, however, Mason crashed recently in Clanfield, and so the question is how fit he is. Thomas Mean won the title last year, pulling off an upset on Mason, and he could well do so again. The Spanish Nationals are being held in Vic, right near the French border. Again, a Sunday race held on a course with some small rises and falls and lots of tight technical corners. This one's quite similar to the British race. Lucia Gonzalez Blanco will likely defend her title. Sofia Rodriguez is the only one I can see putting up much of a fight. The men's race won't be a lot closer. Felipe Orts is the towering favourite with only Kevin Suarez really being realistic competition. The Czech, meanwhile, will race around Mlada Boleslav, former host of the World Championships. This race is also entirely on the 15th of January. I've struggled to find definitive start lists here, but I'd venture that Kristina Zemanova is the big favourite. I don't know who else is racing though, so I really struggle to choose anybody else. For the men, who else is there to look at than defending champion Michal Boros, who's on great form so far this whole year? I suppose Denek Stibar is worth mentioning, I mean he's a triple world champion after all, but I don't see him beating Boros even if he does race. And with that we come to the end of all the major championships that I know a lot about and I'm able to find some decent information about. From this point on there'll be a short little slideshow that features the remaining countries, namely Austria, Denmark, Germany, Hungary, Ireland, Japan, Luxembourg, Poland and Portugal. Finding information on these countries is frankly rough, so I've done the best I can. And with that all said and done, that is all 15, I believe, 
national championships that will be held across Western Europe and Japan in the coming weekend. If I left anything out or you feel like I left anything out, feel free to mention it in the comments below. I'll make sure to keep an eye on any kind of developments that may be found there. And with that, it's done from me and it's over to you to enjoy the weekend and all 30 or so races that will be taking place across the next few days. Enjoy.